here at Oshkosh we've discovered it's not a new brand I've seen the Helix name before but I don't know much about it Bill so Dan Johnson talking to Bill Canino I want you to educate me a little bit about Helix and then about what this particular prop is about well, Dan, I discovered Helix at Friedrichshafen about three years ago, as you and I have been over there several times and talked to them. Generally, they've been in business for about 20 years, 20 and, years. and they've been making a tremendous amount of the propellers that go on drones and now rotable vehicles. Uh -huh. Their biggest orders are from car companies, they're, and they're needing bigger props, and so I've told them when they got into the airplane business and really wanted to show props, I'd like to be their dealer. This past week, we just announced that we're the national dealer for Helix Propellers. All right, congratulations. They've sent their mechanics and their president to our place. They've trained all of our mechanics, and we're now certified to do sales and service uh, for these propellers. All right. So what makes this propeller special? This is the Helix 60. It's a propeller that is totally independent of the aircraft. It's generating... 45 volts of power from magnets attached to the airframe and the propeller spinning generates that voltage and the propeller has an airspeed indicator. If you look very close, you'll see a little hole right there. Oh yeah, sure enough. Right so the, the propeller the... knows your airspeed and it knows your engine RPM. So if you have no airspeed and high RPM, it will set the propeller automatically for you flat so that you can get high RPM and take off. As you level off and reduce the power, it sees the RPM going down and it will adjust the propeller and to fit. And it senses the speed going senses out. Senses speed, stabilizing at cruise or, or, speed. Or at least stabilizing. And it knows both of those. Therefore, there's no pilot interaction from this propeller. We've got it under an experimental R&D program right now for 100 hours to confirm that it works fine with the Rotax. But uh, this is where we think the direction of propellers will go particularly even for 200 horsepower solid crank Lycoming engines. This propeller is designed so that it'll work for that and there's again there's no hydraulics, there's, there is an electric step motor with a specially patented uh, mechanism so that the blades are very easy to turn on ball bearings. But we really want this to be the future for propellers. Well this concept that you just described matches up with what I would call a single lever control. That is the pilot just says go. One one lever in his hand says go like a throttle. As far as he's concerned, it's just a throttle. Yes. But the mechanism is smart enough to go, yes, I see you've asked for full power, but you're just starting to roll, so that suggests uh, climb pitch. Am I correct in That's saying correct. that? Okay. And it will set the propeller for that. No duty to the pilot. No, the pilot just, doesn't even he know. He just got his throttle and he just says, I want to go. There's not even a gauge in the cockpit. However, he can, by Bluetooth, pick up his phone, select an uh -huh. app, and look and see what his propeller RPM is uh -huh. doing. Okay. All right, so that's cool. If he wanted to know that information, but he, or he or she don't need to know that information, it'll take care of it for them. We're really trying to take the workload down and yet make safety apparent to even the, the FAA because we don't see an advantage of a ground adjustable propeller where a pilot who is not a trained mechanic may take each blade apart and torque the nuts to his satisfaction and hopefully have each blade set to the hopefully, same. Hopefully that works out well, but yes. you can imagine it not. No. So we, we really think for both safety and power availability for the low torque Rotex engines, this is what we're going to purport as an answer. Well, uh, we're encouraged that FAA is being accommodating of that kind of system because really, I consider it a safety system. It's not about making this airplane go fast. This airplane is not about going fast. No. But you want to get out of that field quickly and then when you're at cruise, you want the most efficient cruise you can get. But I'm, I'm all into that SLS, SCL, LS, SLC thing because I don't want to have to go, okay, manifold pressure is some, such and so yep. and RPM is such and so and I'm trying to do this and that. Uh, I can do that, I have done it, but it's more work than I want. I just want to go have fun in the airplane and have it perform well. That's exactly what we're planning, and, cool. and without the pilot interface. The pilot is, is, uh, is not burdened with any decisions, so the propeller is totally independent. If you lost all the generating capacity of the engine and it was still running, the propeller would still be performing normally.
Now you're saying that this is not you're, this is not an active product for you yet. Is that correct? No, it's uh, it's in proofing for the Rotax, and the uh, Lycoming will be about another six months away. Okay, so a few months into the future, uh, people can inquire and find out more about that. At which time we'll know about what more about what FAA is going to do as well. So, where do they find you on the web to learn more about Helix products? Again, it's uh, sportair.aero, A-E-R-O, or helix.de. Okay, so that's the German, the German. Uh, home site, but on your site it's uh, uh, sportair.aero, Sport Air. and then look for the Helix. We'll have a, a Helix website up soon, but it, this we, we were just approved as a national distributor last week and um, didn't do anything prior to that because we weren't sure whether they would be satisfied with our facilities, but sure. they were. Good. Well, congratulations on that. We'll look for more about Helix in the future. Meanwhile, you can find out more about this airplane, all kinds of other props, and much of the affordable aviation world on bydanjohnson.com. Thanks for talking to Bill Canino and myself here at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh.